Hey, good morning. Got a little trick here for you. Steph here with the South Carolina Canine Academy. Do you have a dog that eats so fast it chokes or food goes everywhere and you're wondering how do I slow them down so they don't choke? I got a nice little trick here for you. We got little Miss Quantum here is ready for her breakfast. Now, Quantum slowed down a little bit over the years when she eats, but she's still very much like the cookie monster. She's like, cookie, nom, 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 and just stuff's flying everywhere. So, here's a trick that I do. Now, just to show you how fast she can eat, I'm going to give her a little bit of food here. All right. As you can see, I'm going to put it down. All right. Okay. You see, she's just tearing it up, just getting in there, right? Just blah, 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 blah. cookie. You think I hadn't fed her for a couple days, right? Okay. So, now she didn't choke, but she ate that pretty fast. All right? So, here's the trick. You know, slow down your dog eating, and you won't have to buy a special bowl, because... If you get a special bowl for her, and I've met a lot of dogs that do that, you know, the ones that have, like, the bumps in them so the dog has to slow down eating, here's what they do. They go, hmm, flip, and they just slap the bowl and kick the food everywhere because they learn, oh, I could just knock over the bowl and get the food faster. So here's something you can do that will slow the dog down and also help them digestion-wise, okay? What you're going to do here is, let me see if I can get the angle right. Got your food. Sorry for the camera being shaky. Water. And I do water so it's about level with the food. Right? I know, baby. I know. I know. All right, so I do it's level with the food. Now, what this do? It, what this does, it'll slow her down from eating, but I'll explain the other thing it's going to do here, too. So, make sure I can keep this in focus. Okay. All right. It slowed her down a little bit, right? But here's the thing you got to keep in mind. Dogs are carnivores. Their teeth are shaped for that, right? So when they're eating, they can't crunch and grind because their jaw doesn't go side to side like ours. So they just rip, tear, and gulp. That's what they do. Just rip the flesh, tear it off, gulp it. That's what they do. So with the water and the food... We slow them down a little bit, but also while they're swallowing it, we got water going down so the dog isn't choking. All right. Now, here's some of the added benefits of that. If you're, besides slowing the dog down and not choking, I find that my dogs and a lot of my clients I've shown this to tend to drink about 50% less water. Because if you've ever seen kibble, you know, it, if you ever see just land in water, it expands about five times the size of what it is, right? Well, you got to imagine when they hit that hits your dog's stomach, it does the same thing. It just expands, right? And then they keep going, you know, and just sucks up all the stomach juices, and then they keep going back and drinking water all day, right? So by doing this, you actually kind of cut down on the water consumption, which is just an added thing. But here's what's also good about it. Getting If they were to eat a raw diet, or like a wild diet, right, they're eating flesh, 70% of flesh is water. So by putting this in here, we're kind of replacing some of that water that they would naturally get from a, a diet like that. Also, as your dog's eating the food and it's processing in their stomach with all that water, um, one of the byproducts of protein synthesis is nitric acid. And nitric acid can build up in the kidneys over time and cause problems. Um... One of the best ways to get nitric acid out of the bladder, water. So just put it in their food. Uh, this way it'll slow them down from eating. They won't choke as much. They'll be getting extra water and they'll consume less through the day. So that's just a nice little trick you can do with your dogs to slow them down. And what you can do if you've never done this with your dog before and they're real, real picky, just put a little bit of water in at a time. But if you have a dog that's gulping food down, it probably doesn't matter what you put in there. They're tearing it up. So as you can see, she ate all of her food. She enjoyed it very much, and now she's going to chew on a metal bowl because she's a crackhead like that. Yes. So, let me put this up so that she has some teeth by the time she's seven. All right. So, again, 
just to slow your dog down and also help with all the digestion, consuming less water, stuff like that. Put water in the food so it's level with the food and let them eat it. Okay, this is Jeff with the South Carolina Canine Academy. I hope you like this. I hope you find it helpful. So like it, share it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm here, Jeff, SCK9Academy.com. You can also find us on Facebook at South Carolina Canine Academy. And we're also on YouTube. I say we, but it's just it's just you and me. So yeah, we. Yeah. Thanks again, guys. Hope this was helpful. Have a great day.